The more hits we play, the more hits we get. URLradio.net. Stacey Sturm. Nicole. Just Nicole. Just Nicole. She's like Cher in yeah. Prince. Yep. Just call her Nick. I just ditched all the rest of my name. Stacey Sturm and Nick. And Nick. On URLradio.net, Woman Power Hour. And on the phone with us, we're very excited to talk oh, to yeah. a special guest. You probably recognize the name, recognize the voice. It's Gwen Sebastian. Good afternoon, Gwen. What's going on? Boy, not much. Well, I guess a lot with you, right? <laughs> Not much here, but... Kind of sort of, right now, not so much, which is the beauty of it. I'm actually, I'm on the farm right now, and oh. um, a lot of cows are looking in the window at me <laughs> and wondering why I don't have my makeup on yet. Oh. They, they, they think you look familiar, but they're not quite sure. They think they've <laughs> yeah, seen yeah. you before. Exactly. <laughs> I think I know that lady. So now, when you're not on the farm, are, have, you, have you still been living in the Nashville area, Gwen? Yes. yes it, so actually. what a change in pace, right? Going Very from. much so. <laughs> it, it really, it really is, and that was one of the things that when I moved from North Dakota down there, I um, didn't really have any experience with traffic per se. And the first day that I came home from work, I cried. <laughs> <laughs> I cried. I was in, I was in, you know, a little traffic jam basically, yeah. and just, and it really isn't that god awful down there, not compared to like L.A. or New York or something like that, but. I cried, and I'm like, it wouldn't be like this back in North Dakota. <laughs> You're like, I could drive halfway cried, across the cried state. all the way home. And the time it takes me to get home, I could drive halfway <laughs> across the state. <laughs> I know. It's so true. I but, know. yes, that is, that's actually, that is where I live now. I don't, I don't get to see a lot of it, but um, that's where home base is now. Mm-hmm. So how did you even get there? G- give us a little bit of your journey. Well, I, you know, growing up, I, uh-huh. I grew up in a musical household, and my parents um, have been musicians for a long time, and so I grew up with that around me, and I didn't necessarily know for sure that I was going to move away for it or actually mm-hmm. do it for a living, but I always wanted to. And so I, I ended up going to school, went to NDSU, and then I went to nursing school at Med Center One and made a little trip down to Nashville, and after that I was sold. And so yeah. it took me just a little bit to really decide that, yeah, I got to go. So it's it's been a long time, to be honest with you. I think it's been 14 or 15 years already and um, that I've been down there and made my way down. Yeah. And then I get there. So you went when you were 12? I, what's that? <laughs> you went down there when you were 12? <laughs> no, I love you. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yes. <laughs> I was uh, a teenager. Yeah. yeah. No, but, you know, I, I got there and I was completely intimidated because there are so many great talented people down there and and so I honestly didn't do a lot with music for oh gosh the first seven years you know and every now and then I'd go out and do little shows and I'd play um you know songwriters nights because I was writing some tunes at the time and it finally took me you know to realize I I gotta if if I move down here for this what the heck you gotta go for it so the guys and I I mean the band have been together Mm -hmm. for about six years and doing this full time for that long and loving it you know we've had we've had lots of ups and downs yeah we've had um you know we've had a thanksgiving where all of our equipment burned in a fire oh and that, it's true story and you know why i guess just guess why um, um somebody left a candle on the turkey <laughs> burnt you burnt the turkey fryer yeah turkey fryer turkey the club fryer. that we were playing at did an in, it turkey fryer and it burned the whole place down oh and thank god nobody was in it yeah but yeah i've heard that's that could what happen. happened so we've had some crazy little things happen and of course a lot of good stuff you know mm-hmm. along the way but i'm i'm loving it and um it's it's really cool to kind of be able to not only see different parts of the country, but my favorite part is coming back home and playing shows here mm-hmm. because, you know, seeing friendly faces in the crowd, that helps out. That's for sure. When when did you get your big break? Gosh, I don't, have I gotten it? <laughs> I don't know. <I'm, laughs> like I said, lots of good things, you know, and everything. But I, I guess as far as, um, you know, a musician, when, when you're mm-hmm. looking at your life and what you want to do and, and trying to get that big break, you know, I, I've been doing music for a long time and, and love it, but you always have goals and you always want to mm-hmm. do something a little bigger and better. And I I think that, you know, two years ago is when I got assigned to um, a label, an indie label, and that probably was considered a break, you know, and, right. and being able to... 
um, record some songs and, and actually get some radio play from it. And thank you, by the way, yes, for that. You're welcome. That that was a big deal for me, and or at least a goal, you know, that I had. And and you always want to keep going for more things and stuff, and and try to try to get out there and and do as much as you can. And and hopefully, you know, I I don't think music is is what I really am supposed to be all that I'm doing. I'm hoping that, you know, I get to a point where I can make some sort of a difference and, um, you know, just, just bigger, better things, right? For sure. I think we all should strive for, for getting a little further along and just sure. never settling. You know, there's there's always something more we can learn. I'll never forget when, okay, so when we first launched URL Radio, it was a couple months after that. I heard some of your stuff and I think we Facebooked you or Nick Facebooked you or something and said, hey, send us some, uh, send us some tracks because we really like your stuff. And so then we started playing, and I'm like, yeah, this is good stuff. I'm glad we get to play this kind of music and blah, blah, blah. And then I think it was maybe two or three weeks later, all of a sudden I saw you on CMT. I'm like, get out of town. What is this? She's my Facebook friend. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, you're funny. The VIP is like and one of my favorite And probably a week later songs. I was no longer on CMT. So <laughs> don't feel so bad. <laughs> <laughs> but you're still my Facebook friend, Gwen. I know. We're virtual friends. We, we are. Really, are you going to be able to come out to the show maybe tomorrow night, you think? Yeah, I think we're going to try. Yeah. Are you? Okay, cool. Yeah, we're going to cool. try to get, I'm going to try to ditch the kids for a while. Oh, don't, you don't have to ditch your kids to come out. But if you've got time, that'd be awesome. Uh, yeah, no, I think I need to ditch my kids. <laughs> Every once in a while, you just got to. Maybe they want to get away from you too. Right? Yeah, we've you know? been we've been very close with all this flooding and stuff. All of our family's been very very close. Really? <laughs> yeah. That is, um, I I cannot believe all that's happened and what everybody's been going through there. It's it's crazy, and you know, the one thing, and I know this sounds so cheesy, but mm-hmm. it's so true that if it happens to people in this area, they just come together and they figure it out. You know, thank yeah. goodness, mm-hmm. thank goodness, everybody's got good hearts around just here. Get her so done. That's what you need. <laughs> Yeah. So now tell people, where are you going to be playing at tomorrow, Gwen? Going to be at the Burnt Creek Club yeah. in Bismarck, North Dakota, don't you know? I do. And, I do um, know. Yeah. Going to be starting about 9 o'clock-ish, something okay. like that. And we're going to be playing um, probably till about 1230, um, whenever, you know, whenever last call is. So okay. you guys can all come out and have a good time. And I think there is a cover. I think it's, I can't remember exactly what they're charging. Oh, uh, it's usually only like 3 or $4. It's usually Is it really? Cheap. Okay, yeah, got yeah. it, got it. It's, some, it's somewhere right around there. So I'm, mm-hmm. I'm hoping that we get a bunch of people out, like I said, to see some familiar, friendly faces in the audience. And you're actually, you said you're in Weibo tonight, too. We have listeners down in the Dickinson area. So you're yes, in Weibo, is that right? in Weibo, yes. And that is um, at the fair, at the fairgrounds. And I believe oh, it's fun. an outdoor concert. Um, yeah. And so we st- uh, there's a opening act, and I believe they start at seven o'clock. And I've just kind of find- found all of this out, so I'm just getting all the little details here. And then eight o'clock is when me and the boys get up and play. Um, and of course, that's all mountain time mm-hmm. over there. Do you ever just sit back when, when you go to do a, a show like that and say, "I can't believe people are gonna pay me to go sing like that"? Yes, <laughs> that's so I, awesome. I, I think that pretty much every time I do it, <laughs> yeah, every time. Yeah, I'm lucky, very, very lucky to to do what I love to do, and um, I don't take it for granted, that's for sure. There's mm-hmm. definitely days, you know, when I'm, like, traveling and we're in a vehicle for 10 to 12 hours at right. a time, and you, you wonder, you're like, oh, gosh, you know, is this, this all worth it? And absolutely it is. Yeah. Well, thanks for taking the time with us this afternoon, Gwen. Thanks for um, letting me call in and talk to you guys. And, um, yeah, just whenever whenever you um, need anything, let me know. Oh, for sure. We go, oh, do you know what? I do need something from you. Hold on the phone yeah. a little bit. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> you never make promises, Gwen, because I will always take you up on it. Okay, sounds good. Okay, just hold on a second. Okay.